Hi everyone, today's video is gonna be a really easy tutorial on how to do this Mad Hatter character. I just wanted to do a really more feminine version of this and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna start by using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face um, just the same way as I was using like a stick foundation and something that I kind of learned by <laughs> using this NYX uh, eye pencil is that your face needs to be really like uh, moisturized because it was clenching in a lot of my dry spots that I have all over my face and yeah, so I just started blending this with my buffer brush and I just decided to apply another layer. I wanted to make this character really pale and like give it this like dead kind of, you know, complexion. Then I just covered my eyebrows with the same jumbo eye pencil in milk and the reason why is just because I want the next work that I'm gonna use, I wanted to stand out just because I have really dark eyebrows <laughs> right so now we we're just trying to blend the edges of this and I'm gonna just do it really carefully it looks so weird now that I'm looking at the footage but yeah I'm just trying to like get rid of the edges and trying to brush my hairs a little bit upwards where are you guys gonna be for Halloween? Um, I think I'm gonna be the cat from Alice <laughs> let me know in the comments so now for the eyebrows I'm gonna be using this NYX Vivid Brides, uh, Brights Eyeliner in Vivid Halo I think it's the name um, Everything will be in the description box for you guys, but I'm gonna start by underlining my eyebrow the same way that I start doing my eyebrow normally. I'm just doing that in the bottom part. And for the rest of the body of the eyebrow, I'm just gonna do it like really slow and really small strokes of hair. And I'm just trying to make them look a little bit fluffy. A little bit like, um, I don't know how to describe it. I want the hairs to be, you know, free and like fluffy, and I don't have really fluffy hairs, so yeah. And now that I'm looking at the footage, I'm like thinking, I wish I could have made them like even bigger. <laughs> that would be fun. So now for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna start uh, using the color Gonzo from the Electric Palette from Urban Decay and I'm just applying this with a big fluffy blending brush and next I'm just you know, using a clean blending brush and just trying to blend this out. And I'm doing you know, the, almost the same technique as when I do like a smoky eye, like starting really slow, building out the color intensity and going back, blending, and going back with the color again. Next, I'm gonna be using the color Fringe. This is such a beautiful aqua blue color. It's, it has so, ma so much dimension and I actually apply a little bit of water or something so it looks a little bit uh, more bright in, in my eyes. Yeah, like Fix Plus or I even use my Tarte uh, setting spray and yeah, it, it works well. Next, for the other side of the, the other eye, I'm gonna be using the color Love Letter from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I'm just applying this color all over the crease the same way I, you know, did the other eye. We're just trying to build the color slowly and I'm trying to bring the color all the way into my inner corner.
for my eyelids. I'm just using the same uh, electric palette from Urban Decay. I'm just using this color that looks like a grape purpley shade. Oh, it's so pretty. I swear, these colors are so intense. I, it took me so long to get this palette you guys but anyways the next color I'm using is like the vibrant pink neon color that this palette has and I, I just decided to apply it all over my crease I thought that the crease needed a little bit more of a pink um, you know hue to it or something yeah I, I was thinking that it looked really purple so now for my waterline, I'm using this NYX eyeliner in golden brown. It's so pretty. I usually started to apply it with a really small eyeliner brush from Soiva. And it's so creamy, you guys. And I'm just trying to blend this eyeliner with a orange eyeshadow. I use the, the orange eyeshadow from the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. And I'm just trying to make it look really, really smoky. After that, I'm just using a neon orange eyeshadow. And I just try, I'm just trying to bring that orange color a little bit more uh, lower than I normally will. And now I'm just doing a normal cat eyeliner. At the moment, I'm trying to, I'm using eyeliners for my cat eye and I think I'm mastering again my technique <laughs> I didn't do makeup for so long but anyways now I'm just applying my lashes and I decided to put a little bit of glitter for this Mad Hatter because I was thinking yeah it's a really feminine character for you know making it look really glittery so now for the lips I'm just using this NYX um, lip pencil I'm trying to do the ombre effect in my lips by just like outlining the my lips with the orange neon uh, side of the pencil and yeah once I have that done I'm just applying the other color in the center of my lips and now I'm just blending that with my fingers and it looked really cool I really like it now for the cheeks i'm just using a lot of pink eyeshadows and yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe and like this video and talk to you guys later bye bye